Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux Tutorial series. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important command that is normally used on a daily basis by the administrators, I can say, or the security guys, basically. Both use this uh, command uh, on a daily basis. Now, what is that command? Let me give you the command name. So, that is LSOF. So, LSOF is a combination of LS and OF. LS means list, OF means open files. So why we are using this command? Hello, everybody knows this command. I am not going to teach you again and again the same things and again and again the options of this command. Everybody can go to the Google and other things and uh, can take the use of this command or multiple tutorials you can find on the YouTube also like why this command is used. But why I am making the videos on this commands is like I don't want to explain the options. Yes, I, I will explain the options plus uh, extra details. Now what does it mean by extra details is nobody will explain you what are the type of FD, we will see what is FD, what are the column represents in this command and why is very important thing to learn any command, why we use this command. So how we can use this LSOS command I will explain you uh, as we are going forward in this video but now let's see the syntax of LSOS command so it's uh, like the syntax is very common again so lsof the command name and then we have some options and then we can give uh, maybe the process name we can give or the user name we can give what does it mean i will explain you but before that you need to explain or you need to understand one thing that any file in the operating system can only be opened by any process okay as a user we say that we are opening a file we can say we are saying normally that yeah i am a user jack and i am opening the file called let's say etc passwd but that is the wrong way to say as a user we can't open any file or like we can't say that that we are opening some file so the correct statement and the very important statement you need to understand is every file in os okay Every file in an operating system can only be opened by some process. And how, why we are saying that that file is open by user? Because every process, okay, every process in operating system is associated with some user. Indirectly, we can say that the file is open by user because whatever the file we are opening is associated with some process and the process is started by some user. So that's how we can say that the user opened a file. Now, what does it mean? Let's say this is a program that yeah, you all know about uh, these two programs and I have a tutorial on both. You can watch uh, the video of this tutorial on my channel. But yeah, these are the two programs on hard disk. When some user come to read some file, he will use either cat or vi or vim or maybe less command he can use to read a file. So, these all are programs on a hard disk. But as soon as user will use this program to read a file, this program will go to the RAM, all you know. If you don't know this, uh, there is a lecture, a third or fourth in my series, program versus process. You can watch that video, you can understand what I am saying. So this pro program will once move to the RAM by any user, that program is known as process. And who user, which user started this process, that process is associated by that user. We can see that with ps command also that which process is associated with which user but you need to understand the program is in the hard disk and if you want to read some file by that program that program first move to the ram because if you want to read something or want to do some operations the operation will be doing by cpu only and cpu can only read from ram not from hard disk so that program will be first move to the ram and that program on ram is known as process and the process is started with some user till that it's clear now let's move to the console and let's see how we can use the lsof command so i am writing lsof only without any options and without any giving any argument it will list some files so many files are listed out it will list it out all the files that are opened by somebody in the operating system and if you go on the top let me try to go on the top i want to explain you a few things I can use less command also to read this properly uh, but okay let me use less command only it's very long actually so
Let me let me very quickly go on the top. So many files are open in operating system. Even though when operating system will boot, so many files will be like opened by multiple users and multiple processes. We can say. Or I can do one more thing here. Uh, instead of this, I can do. Yep. So here you can see on the top there are few columns. Okay, what are those columns? Let me explain you. One by one. So few of the column is the first column is called command. Okay. Then PID we have. Then we have PID. Then we have user. Then we have FD. This is a very important field. Then we have type. Okay. Then we have size. Then we have and the end we have a name. Okay. Now what does it mean? If you see in the command, so command is means which command or you can say which. Which like uh, how this process or how this file is get opened? Which command we are running to open this file? Okay, that is a use of this command. Now we have PID. Which process? Because at the end, like CAD or VI, these are the process, and this process started or opened a file. So the, every process you know is associated with some PID. So what process ID started this file? PID as of now you don't need to focus much. Let's leave about this user. Which user? Because every process started by that user. So which user started that file? FD is called file descriptor. Now it will tell the details about file. Like what type of file is this? If the value of this is uh, FD is called CVD, then it's current working directory. If the value is TXT, then it's a text file. If the value is uh, MEM, then it's a memory file. Here, if you see DIRC, CVD, CWD. Okay, txt, mem, rtd is a root directory. Okay, the first directory booted in the operating system is slash only if you know. So the like next is type. So type is basically, uh, you can see the basically the, it refers to the type of the nodes associated with the file. Now what does it means is the four or three values uh, can be supported uh, by this column. I can say, okay. The device don't have to focus much size. Size is you can think of like size of a file in a bytes. Then node and then we have a name, the name of a file at the end. Okay. So if you see the very first RTD here, the second second entry. So it's a root directory because everything you know in the Linux is booted under uh, the slash directory only. So yep. So PID I don't want to uh, confuse you much. So leave about this and yeah, this is all about the column. Now let's see the options one by one. Let's say how how why we are using the, the, the options come is now like why we want to use LOS LSOF. So the very critical file in the operating system you know are like mainly these two files, RWD and it is shadow. And there are many more, but as of now you know these two files. So okay. So what monitoring guys or what security guys admin guy can use is they can use some option like say hyphen i interface or they can use like say hyphen d or they can use hyphen c so they can come to know that this file is open by which users from where they opened up this file from where we can write okay and how like uh, by network they open up this file or locally somebody open up this file if locally then it's fine we don't have to worry about it some some monitoring guy or the some administration guy can only open this file they only have privilege but if some remotely somebody opened up this file then it's a very critical thing and we have to focus or we have to resolve this issue because some hacker or some cracker may be opening this file and try to crack something so now let's see the options one by yeah, so we are discussing the options. Let me show you the first very first option. So in LSOF, we can pass directly the file name also. Let's say I am giving a file name called etc pass wd. Yeah, so it's showing that this file is opened up by which user and which command opened up this file. This is the one thing. Okay. Now I just let me move to this file and let me log into this. Okay. 
first let me close this okay and if you see i am with some another user i logged in and i have this file called shri okay i just created this file uh, if i now want to see which files are opened by user specific user then we can give hyphen u and then the username it will show multiple files okay but if i try to grab that file name just i just create it it will show you some the file entry because uh, it will mean swap maybe no it's not showing because the file is saved now let's try to open up that file uh, i am opening the file with vi okay and now i am going here and try to grab the same thing see the file is opened up here you can see the command that opened up the file and the last the size of the file and the path of the file that's how you can use the hyphen u option to see which files are opened up by which user second thing you can give specific file name also here okay like this so it will show you uh, maybe it's not showing you because it's a swap entry but yeah you can give uh, the file name also and it will show you which user opened up the file next if you don't want to see the file entry or the files opened up by a specific user so you can use this cap symbol this cap symbol means it will not show you the files opened up by user shri else every user in the system opened up some files and folders it will show you apart from the shri see this is one thing the next option we can use is let's say i want to see uh, the file opened up by a specific process so as i told you the file will be opened by some process only and some user is associated with the process so you can give hyphen c and then the process name c in the down also you will see this file is opened up by vi and this much files are opened up by vi that's how you can see next thing you want to see by some pid okay let me let me let me show it to you if you see or if you use the same option let's say this this is the pid 3845 so if i want to see the files open by specific pid then i can do use lsof hyphen p then the pid that is 3845 see this much files and this why because i am using multi terminal i am on tty3 if i go there and show you the terminal name so if i write something like this wrong it will show me the terminal name or i can use there there are ways but i don't want to move into the direction so leave it so this much files are opened up now if you want to see the files open in a specific directory okay or the files open inside the directory so what you can use lsof hyphen capital d i can give slash home it's saying unsupported version option d okay so i can use this plus d come on why plus is not okay see this much files are opened up in the directory called slash home some are opened up in by bash and two process started with lsof that will show you okay now if i use slash etc so many files will come up see this all files are opened by root when we are booting up the operating system so that's all about the lsof why we are using lsof you come to know maybe some security guys want to uh, let me explain you let's say this file is etc shadow is open up remotely by some users and security guys and monitoring guys want to continuously checking that these two files are opened up by some remote user or not if yes then it's a critical issue we have to solve that issue so that's how you can use lsof option or lsof command so that's all about this video if you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon if you have any doubt you can reach out to me on linkedin or post your doubts on comment box thank you